Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to be checking out Mages of Mistralia. Now, Mages of Mistralia is a game that I've been looking at for a good while. I uh, actually looked at this at PAX South last year, so almost been watching this game for an entire year. We're going to go ahead and jump in here. I, I did start a little something just to see um, if the... Um, if everything was, you know, recording properly, and it, it did, it recorded just fine. Uh, so yeah, this is a demo of the game. It's kind of what they show off at, at PAX and some of the conventions. Um, it's like the first dungeon. Uh, the game is in no way actually completed. This is just kind of a, a look at this game because, um, you know, I had been following it for so long. Um, the demo was made in November, so it's been out for a little while, or at least this particular demo. And, uh, yeah, the story isn't integrated into this very much. Um, it's basically to kind of showcase, you know, how some of the fighting works and how some of the spell stuff works. So, we're going to kind of run off here a little bit, uh, and I'm going to play through as much as I can for you guys. Fall off the bridge there. Uh, this game is really unique, and what caught my eye, and you'll, you'll kind of see that as we get into here, um, what caught my eye is the way that you can build spells in mages. Um, it's it's really pretty interesting. I don't think we have any um, spells that we can mess with yet, but we will get there. Um, and basically the backstory, if I remember correctly, is that uh, magic used to run rampant in this world, and it no longer does. And there's my cat meowing. Okay, then. Um, it, magic no longer runs rampant in this world. And it's kind of outlawed. And so you were kind of this last remnant of any magic. And so you're trying to run away, I guess. I don't I don't remember a large part of it, but a spell book. I wonder what it's doing here. Who are you? Did it just speak? Or was it only in my head? Well, perhaps you'll do. Fear not, young mage. I can get you back on your way. I better take it with me. So she took the spell book. Um, appears to communicate with me telepathically. Mentor's books does that. Interesting. Okay. So now you have spell crafting. So there's some different stuff that we can kind of get into. And I don't think we can yet. Let me show you how to use Imedi spell. Okay. Allows for instantaneous spells such as slashes or explosions. Okay, that was a nice little slash. Okay. So we can bust open some pots, kind of like in Zelda. Hit that. Oh, that was like a little keystone. Okay, that's cool. We'll knock open these pots here. Uh, barrels. Barrels are good. Kind of break everything up. Oh. Oh, a little bad guy came out. All right, little troll, maybe? Interesting. Cool. And the door opens back up. Very nice. All right, goblins, this bold. Which mage isn't guarding this part of the forest? All right, so that was a goblin, not a troll. Interesting. Continue along our way here. Uh, you'll need a new trick. I'll show you how to cast an Ego spell. Okay. Allows for spells affecting oneself, such as shields and fast movement. So it's a nice little shield. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Uh, I can kind of see how this is going to have to work. So we can just come across here, face forward. And you can block the wind. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see, is there anything back over here? No, not really. Looks like we can go down here. And we can, like, crack open these pots. I don't know if there's anything too worthwhile. And we're getting whatever those green orbs are. I don't remember from my experience with this game what those green orbs are. But that's fine. All right. Wanted to get across that bridge, but was not fast enough. Cool. It's, it's really cool to be playing this game. I uh, I showed it to Zul'jin at PAX West, uh, which was the, the latest PAX from this particular moment that I recorded this video. And uh, he thought it was really awesome, and I, I've really enjoyed it since I've seen it uh, at PAX South. Let's run up here. 
Got him. Cool. Okay, jump right back down off of there. Marketing and business. Dan, Dan is the guy that actually sent me the code. Uh, I feel the natural affinity with the next one. I call it the Octa spell. Okay. Conditions such as mines or projectiles. Ooh. So you can like light stuff on fire and keep a little orb there. Interesting. I like the names that they're given to stuff too. That is that is actually really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's. Oh hey. Oh you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> that opened the door. That's an interesting mechanic. That is that is not something I probably would have thought of. Uh, for a mechanic for a game. That is really cool. Keep running down here. And you'll see what I, I mean about the, some of the mechanics being really neat. Uh, as far as like spell building and stuff like that. Once we get into that. I don't know if I can get into much just yet. But we will get there. Only have one spell life. It's a Creo. Alright. What does this do? Allows for spells with durable effects such as ice bridges and firewalls. Interesting. Okay, activate. Use this to get us out of here. Let's go. Uh, skip the rest of our introduction scenes. You're familiar with the basic spell types. We're reporting you to the game's first dungeon. Traveling to Sky Temple. Very cool. Very, very cool. Alright. Beautiful place. Okay. I can go ahead and light this one. Uh, there's a little treasure chest popped up. Cool. Get that one. Open that. Move. Okay. Design a range spell. So now, with the fire, we can create a move spell. So let's do this. Kind of connect it up right there. Okay, so now... How cool is that? You can have it actually move the spells now. Very cool. Alright. And yeah, so that's that's something that's actually really, really interesting. Is the fact that you can kind of do this with the spells. Uh, you have just kind of... Just really cool stuff. Like you can move... Uh, let's connect that up there. And I don't know what that'll do. Oh, that's a sprint! Pretty neat. Alright. So we'll get through this area a lot faster. Light him on fire. Oh, did he not stay down? Oh, now he did. Lit it on fire and exploded. What do we got now? A purple orb. Interesting. All right. Shoot up there to that. Good stuff. I like it. I dig it. Right up to here. He's running away. Oh. Now we've got what appears to be some sort of boss fight. Watch it. Oh, he's sending him back. Oh, he's down. Nice. Okay, he's resistant against what we're throwing at him. Oh, we got hit. All right, now we are recharged. Perfect. So that wall drops. It's very cool. It's very Zelda-esque. 
type of gameplay to it. It's it's really nice. Um, I would like to cast some sort of explosion. I don't know that I've seen an explosion yet, though. Winter has come. Uh, what do we need to do with this? Okay, let's see. Interesting. Bring that up there. Oh! Oh! No, that doesn't work. Let's bring that up to that. That one there. Okay, lit that on fire. Looks like the switch activated our old mechanism. Might be fun to see once you hit all the switches. There seem to be five switches total. Wonder what that does. Five switches total. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um. Let's see, is there anything about this particular door? No. That I would love to set up an explosion. Let's see, Creo. Edit. Yeah, we just have the move, so there's nothing really there. In the electricity, yeah, we don't really have anything for that either. Okay. I would love to go into there. Yeah, over here, down this way. Can light the fire there. Here's another switch. Okay. So we gotta keep an eye out for those little little bits that are around. Get some of these guys taken care of. Alright, good stuff. Um, yeah, we, we need an explosion spell or something. Maybe this will give us... Uh, turn to the right? First augment rune. Alright. So that will add in a pretty cool little effect here. I'll show you guys. Uh, let's say we've got this this move spell, right? So now we put it over there like that. And when we cast our fire spell, it will arc to the right. Isn't that pretty neat? Let's see. Let's see if I can get that to do what I want it to do. Almost. Oh, it lit it on fire. Yeah. Very, very cool. Alright, some more experience orbs. Oh, he's gonna explode. Okay. Another little area unlocked. Or another switch activated, I should say. Just get away from those guys. Uh, before we go too far, I want to go back up there and see if there's any any other switches. Get away from me. Ooh, okay. Alright, that's fine. Can work with a lot of this here. Oh! Ouch! Man, that hurts. That really hurts. Alright, get away. Alright, let's let's make an adjustment to our spell here. Uh, I don't want that rune anymore. Did I get him? 
Yes, all right, cool. Very cool. Light that little fire up. Not much else to kind of mess with here. I think I'm gonna go back real quick. I thought this would have been the, the normal way to go, but I'm, I'm kind of getting a feeling that the other ways was the normal way to go. Activate. Oh. Hello. I think you'll need to go fast to solve this one. So it's, it's, it's tricky. Nice. All right, cool. Explosion. Duplicate creates multiple instances of the spell usable with the orb and self. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, duplicate. Let's kind of see what that does. And then I'm also very curious about this too. What it does with speed. Oh, it's like a mirror image? Oh, and that's three. That one's also cool. All right. Good stuff. Get away. Go away. Yeah, it's like a... It's It, it really is. It's, it's kind of like a mirror image. Let's get that one caught on fire and exploded. Oops. Kind of get up there. And then what's up this way? A little snowman. Another key. You can't dodge it when it's throwing three of them at you, can you? <laughs> All right, so keep going through here. Good stuff. That will open this. That opened another door. Awesome. Awesome. 